Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at this, which is the Jam Pedals Pink Flow. Now, I did a video last week where I did the unboxing and you guys chose out of the votes which one would be reviewed first, and it came up with this one. And this thing is absolutely astonishing. This is Jam Pedals' take on, I guess, what you would call an ultimate sort of Pink Floyd pedal board. And it makes it really handy because not only is everything laid out for you, it only takes one power supply. So everything is being powered off of one cable, which is brilliant. So let's go through the pedals from right to left, which is the signal flow. We've got the Seagull pedal right on the right. I'll go over that later on. You've got the Dynessa, which is their take on the Ross style compressor, vintage compressor. The Tube Dreamer, which is an 808 style overdrive. You've got the Red Muck, which is a fuzz distortion pedal inspired by the 71 Triangle, the Red Army Civil War fuzz muff style pedals. You've got the Waterfall, which is a chorus vibrato pedal with BBD chips. You've got the Ripple, which is their two-stage phaser. And lastly, you've got the Delay Llama, which is a fully analog delay pedal, which is absolutely awesome. So my clean sound sounds like this. Ignoring the seagull at the moment, let's go through the pedals from right to left, which is a signal flow. You've got the dinosaur, which is jam pedals take on the Ross style compressor. When I normally look for a compressor, I normally go for a compressor with a mix control, so you can take it from sort of dry with the compressor off and mix in your amount of compression. Now this doesn't have this, but to be honest, you don't need it because it is that sort of classic old compressor sound. Now I'm gonna leave the dinosaur on, but next we've got the Tube Dreamer. This is their 808 style pedal. Sounds like this. This sounds way better than my Ibanez Tube Screamer pedal. And it's really handy because you've got this switch here which can change it from a high gain mode to a low gain mode. So that was in the high gain mode. Let's bring it to the low gain. Tons of gain out of this if you need it, if I put it into the high gain mode. And that to me, would do all the overdrive jobs that I would ever need. Next, we've got the Red Muck. As I said earlier, the Red Muck is based on, I guess you could sort of call it like a big muff sort of style pedal, and it is massive. And 
And this again has two different modes. As you can see, we're in the low gain mode as I'm on the minus switch here. But if I switch it over to the plus switch, now this does change the character of the pedal as well, not only in the amount of gain, but it also darkens it up. So you can get some more sort of brighter tones if you use the low gain side of it. Switch it over to the high gain. And that sounds absolutely massive. Next we've got the waterfall, which is their chorus vibrato. That's in the chorus mode, I can switch over to the vibrato mode. Now again, we have a plus and minus switch on here. This is basically adding more of the effect into the mix. Next, you've got the ripple effect, which is their phaser. And I guess you could think of that like the classic sort of Pink Floyd. Next, you've got what I would probably consider to be the greatest delay pedal that you can get. Now, they do a bigger version of this, which is the Delay Lama Extreme, which does a lot more. I'm gonna be reviewing that later on. This version here is the single pedal version, and it just sounds absolutely killer. <laughs> This is a completely analog delay pedal, but what makes this really great is you've got a tap tempo button and you've also got this switch here, which you can switch from eighth notes to quarter notes to dotted eighth notes. So not only that, it's got an effects loop send and return, which you can connect other effects to place them after the red muck and before the waterfall, which makes it incredibly versatile as you can add in other effects, or then maybe even use this in four cable method. And you can obviously use this pedal for single effects, but it really starts to come into its own when you start layering those effects. <laughs>
last of all, come right back to the start again where we've got the seagull effect. Now the seagull effect is the effect that you can hear in Pink Floyd echoes. And it's a bit of a strange effect. I'm not sure that I'd ever use it. The only thing that I would use it for is messing up a sound engineer. When you're at a gig, you can switch it on and the sound engineer will be looking around, trying to wonder where that sound's coming from. And with some of the sound engineers that I've worked with, that's gonna be quite useful. Now you might be thinking this is a very expensive pedal and why would I ever spend money on a pedal that costs this much? This is 990 euros. But if you buy all of these pedals individually that Jam makes as individual pedals, you'll be spending, I've written it down here, 1,354 pounds. If you buy this on its own, which bear in mind, you're only gonna be using one power supply for this. So that's gonna be saving you time and space as well. You can buy this for 990 euros. And to me, it's an absolute bargain. Now, jam pedals, in my opinion, make some of the best guitar pedals out there. And that is why I think this is one of the best pedals you can get. Anyway, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time.